welcome to a video that will discuss the difference between a linear equation and a linear inequality in two variables. Notice how we have one linear equation shown here and two linear inequalities. Notice the linear equation has an equal sign. The linear inequalities have inequality signs or inequality symbols. The solutions to a linear equation are all the ordered pairs x comma y that satisfy the equation. There are an infinite number of solutions to a linear equation, and if the ordered pairs are graphed on the coordinate plane, they form a line as shown here. So every ordered pair that represents a point on this line would be a solution to the linear equation. If the ordered pair represents a point not on the line, it would not be a solution. For example, notice how the ordered pair at negative two comma one would be this point on the line and the ordered pair four comma six would be this point, not on the line. Which means this ordered pair represents a solution to the equation, and this ordered pair does not represent a solution. To verify this, we can perform substitution into the equation. Remember, for every ordered pair, the first value is the x value, the second value is the y value. So looking below, for the ordered pair negative two comma one, performing substitution and simplifying gives us one equals one, and because this is true, this verifies the ordered pair is a solution to the linear equation. And now if we perform substitution using the ordered pair of four comma six, notice how when we simplify, we end up getting four equals six, which is false, verifying the ordered pair is not a solution. And now let's look at the linear inequalities. The solution to a linear inequality are all the ordered pairs x comma y that satisfy the inequality. There are also an infinite number of solutions to a linear inequality. If the ordered pair solutions are graphed on the coordinate plane, they form a half plane, as we see here, that may or may not include the boundary line. If the boundary line is included, the line is solid. If the boundary line is not included, the boundary line is dashed. If the boundary line is included, if we have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to inequality symbol. So we include the line because of the equal part of the inequality symbol. If the inequality symbol is less than or greater than, the boundary line is not included and we have a dashed line as we see here. So for this inequality, the solutions consist of all the ordered pairs in the shaded region or on the line. For this inequality, the solution consists of only the ordered pairs in the shaded region, not on the boundary line. Let's illustrate this using the same two ordered pairs, negative two comma one and four comma six. Notice for this inequality, one point is in the shaded region and one point is on the solid line, which means both ordered pairs should be solutions to the inequality. And let's check below. Performing substitution using the ordered pair negative two comma one, we end up getting one greater than or equal to one. So because the equal part, this inequality is true, and therefore negative two comma one is a solution. Again, this is the reason why our line, or boundary line, is solid. And now for the ordered pair four comma six, performing substitution and simplifying, we get six greater than or equal to four, which is also true verifying this ordered pair in the shaded region is a solution. The only difference for this inequality is the inequality symbol is greater than, not greater than or equal to. So performing substitution using the ordered pair negative two comma one and simplifying, notice how we get one greater than one, which is false, which is the reason why the line is dashed. Any ordered pair that represents a point on the dashed line would not be a solution. And now using the ordered pair four comma six and simplifying, we get six greater than four, which is true. So it is important to recognize the difference between the graphs of the solutions of linear inequalities based upon the inequality symbol. I hope you found this helpful.